When Elon Musk founded SpaceX with a dream to colonize Mars, few believed that the company would disrupt the whole industry in 10 years. In 2020 alone, they were able to send 26 missions. Well, that is a step closer to our dream of space travel. And what's more, Musk has the vision to mass produce space rockets. He's eyeing to build rockets every 72 hours. It's surprising how a private company can build rockets so fast. Over the years, Russia and the U.S. have been competing in terms of space exploration and services. However, none of them have made multiple launches successfully in a noticeably short period. So we decided to unveil the secret to how SpaceX builds their rockets so fast. Take a look. SpaceX Workforce the first secret to their fast rocket building process is the SpaceX workforce. Employees at SpaceX are talented because the company only hires the best and the brightest. They're clear about their goals. The rocket is being designed to assist us in reaching Mars. It'll aid in increasing the rate of flight to begin colonizing Mars and making space flight accessible to all of us. With this aim in mind, every decision is taken. Besides, Elon always wants to go fast. Elon called a meeting with his staff to discuss speeding up Starship production at the Boca Chica factory. His engineering team clarified that more people were needed to fill work shifts. SpaceX employed 252 employees 48 hours later, more than doubling the factory's construction staff. Abundant funding. Being a business person and economist at the same time, Elon Musk was able to address the very first and the core issues in manufacturing space rockets, the source of funds. Funding plays a vital role in every aspect of the business, especially if you consider gambling and innovation where competition is highly visible. You need to have a stable source of funds to ensure that your business and ideas will turn into realities. Also, funding ensures the quality of your product. As to the case of SpaceX, Elon Musk designed a business structure where SpaceX, like all his other companies, will have a steady flow of funds. Additionally, his innovations and ideas about the future have attracted capitalists to venture into his company. Not only that, with the credibility and reliability that SpaceX has established after hundreds of successful missions for almost two decades, SpaceX has secured multi-million dollar contracts, and NASA is one of them. This enables SpaceX to transition and expand their business from maintaining their project to achieving their goals without affecting the development and quality of their space rockets. Although they have funded SpaceX enough, there are still limitations to the funding abilities. However, unlike other companies, Elon Musk has other businesses that can fund SpaceX when things go south. But with its $100 billion market valuation, we doubt if SpaceX will really go that way. Just in case it might happen, its business structure and Elon Musk's other businesses can support SpaceX's need to build and launch multiple rockets in a year. This leads us to the next reason why SpaceX can build its rockets so fast. Materials used for the rockets since the company had addressed the core issue, the next thing that they had checked was the materials being used in manufacturing the spacecraft. Like car manufacturing companies like Honda, Toyota, Tesla, Rolls-Royce, and Ferrari, SpaceX also uses different materials for its spacecraft's body and engine. Since Elon Musk knew from the very start that there were limitations in funding, he made sure to look for reliable and efficient materials for the space rockets. Practicality is what's in his mind. Though the company is outsourcing the materials from different suppliers, SpaceX ensures that the parts would serve their purpose to produce cost-effective rockets. Elon Musk decided to take this unorthodox approach. Instead of choosing and using aluminum, titanium, carbon fiber, or carbon composite materials that are the standard in building a spacecraft, Musk chose stainless steel as the primary material used in SpaceX's spacecraft. And well, for some reason, Elon Musk made a better selection. Considering that 35% of the materials will go into a waste product during the manufacturing stage, instead of using the pricey carbon fiber, which cost $135 per kilogram, he substituted it with stainless steel alloy, which only cost the company $3 per kilogram. That alone will help them save a hefty amount of money that they can use as a source of funds. Because of this, SpaceX can test freely by launching multiple prototypes without the fear of losing money. Simple Design Process Apart from this, as the chief designer and engineer of SpaceX, Elon Musk also sees the design of the rockets as a factor that hinders its production stage. The more complex the design is, the longer it takes to complete the phase. Since the rockets are already made of stainless steel alloy, which is more capable of handling extreme heat, SpaceX can now focus on the other areas that need attention, like its cooling system. A regular space shuttle has over 21,000 heat shield tiles embedded in its body, and these heat shields need to be separately checked and fixed, which is time-consuming. For SpaceX, Musk advised that the exterior design of the spaceship should have two layers of stainless steel alloy that will allow the water and the cooling liquid to flow in between. This approach makes SpaceX manufacture its spacecraft smoothly and drastically brings down the construction time. Iteration of Processes 
Musk said that SpaceX is iterating faster with Starship than it has recently with Falcon, as Falcon's designs more or less stabilize once it started working consistently. He noted that the ability to progress with a design toward having a production vessel is dependent on the number of interactions of the prototypes of the spacecraft, multiplied by the progress achieved between each version. And that's been how SpaceX has worked in the past, and one of the key reasons it's been able to upend the traditional rocket launch industry. It moves fast, iterating as it goes, and quickly makes changes based on failures. In contrast, the industry has primarily focused on more stop-start development cycles, where things are mostly fixed with brief periods of intense focus on improvement between long-lived vehicle generations. Pair this with incremental development, which allows the invention to be released in prototypes with its all brand new and innovative features. All you need to worry about is finding methods to improve the prototype even more. The Excellent Teams When you think of a rocket, you probably imagine big dedicated machinery handling a lot of work. The starships, on the other hand, are completely opposite. The engineers at SpaceX are responsible for designing and maintaining the rocket and for designing and maintaining the rocket making systems. In an interview, Elon Musk said that if you're just trying to make one or something, it can just be made by the engineering team. But if you actually want to make something at a reasonable volume, you have to build the machine that makes the machine, which mathematically is going to be vastly more complicated than the machine itself. Engineers at SpaceX are constantly building new devices to assist. In the development of Starship, prototype engineers produced a knuckle seamer, or revolutionary welding tool, designed to speed up Starship dome tank production and boost weld efficiency. Engineers have also created a shielded X-ray computer to check the accuracy of their welding, since X-ray teams must typically clear the work area before using radiation inspecting. The welds on an entire spacecraft can take a whole day. The new shielded X-ray machine can save teams time by allowing them to perform weld inspections in a matter of hours. Um, I, I, I would, although I'd like to point out that there were two uh, highly publicized uh, failure investigations, one for Delta IV Heavy, one for Atlas. I mean, the Air Force conducted failure investigations. They're, they're, it, they have a, ULA has a very good track record. It is just not quite as perfect as 68 perfect launches. Mr. Yeah. Gass, you have any response to that? And that is the secret formula to Elon Musk's success. With a successful formula, do you think SpaceX will be able to send people to Mars within the next five years? Leave us your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our awesome content. And please give us a like and share the video. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell for timely updates of our new uploads. I'm Mickey B, and I'll see you in the next video.